Okay, in this video, we will show you how to share phrases with other users using a cloud service or a network drive. This installation holds the phrases we want to share. So select the desired phrase file and then click File, Sync Phrases with Others. So we initiate the sharing. Very important, if you use an iOS device, you must use Apple iCloud Drive for sharing. If the other computers are Windows or Macs, you would select the first option. We now have to define a sync folder where all users exchange the changes of the phrase file. This can either be any folder of a cloud service like OneDrive, or in this example, we choose a network drive. Okay, PhraseExpress now uploads the phrases to the central location and offers you to enter license keys, which will then be distributed with a sync mechanism. So all clients get automatically registered. Let's do that here. As you can see here, the local client has been registered. Now let's change to another computer. This is Claire's installation and she wants to join the shared file. So we also select the phrase file, which shall be used to um, exchange the phrases. And then we also select file and sync phrases with others. In this example, we want to join an existing phrase sharing team we just created. So we click the second option and select the same network drive we have used to create the sync folder. Now this is important. Claire's phrases will be exchanged with the shared phrases of the other computer. However, she has the option to import her personal phrases into the shared phrases. If you want that, click yes. And Phrase Express downloaded the shared phrases and created a new folder which contains Claire phrases and those phrases are only visible to her, as you can see with this small icon. And the access rights have been configured so only Claire can see her personal phrases. By the way, you may have noticed that Claire's installation has been remotely licensed. Now let's create a new phrase. In order to share the phrase with others, you have to click on Send and Receive Updates. Now her changes are uploaded, and if there are any remote changes, those would be downloaded. Let's switch back to John's computer. When John clicked Sync Phrases with others, he would download the remote changes from Claire in this example. There we go. And if he would have made changes, those would be uploaded. As you can see, this is a manual procedure. However, you can automate this. To do this, click Sync Options. And here you have options to define when Phrase Express shall automatically sync phrases. For example, now, whenever you start Phrase Express, it would look for changes. That's it.